So you have been playing Subnautica or Subnautica Below Zero, or even at this point, maybe playing Subnautica 3, whatever it's called. It's 2022, 2023, whatever year, and you have learned there are mods. You want to install mods for the Subnautica games. Well, that means you need QMod Manager. Now, in my previous video on how to mod Subnautica or Subnautica Below Zero, QMod Manager had an installation executable. You double click it, it looks for the game files, tells you where to install everything. You just basically hit next, hit install, you're done. But with changes to Nexus Mods policies, a lot of mod creators start pulling their content from the site. And as a result, there's no longer an executable file for the QMod Manager, which leaves you two options. Now, if you're trying to install this through the Nexus Mods Manager and it's not working for you, then you need to submit a support request with Nexus Mods. I'm not going to cover that because if there's an issue, it's something with their Mod Manager. I'm going to show you the manual installation method for QMod Manager. And trust me, this is super simple. Like, there is no real reason to use the Nexus Mods Manager tool because installing QMod Manager is extremely easy. So here I am. I have a brand new install of Windows. All I've done is install Steam and install Subnautica. I haven't even opened the game yet. Now, this is going to be different depending on how your computer is set up. Now, one of the things you're going to have to do to install QMod Manager is go to your game files folder. Now, on Steam, if you have just the one drive in your computer or just the one Steam library, by default, it's going to be under local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Subnautica or Subnautica Below Zero, depending on which game you're trying to mod. If you do have multiple drives and you have multiple Steam libraries, you're going to have to go to the drive with the Steam library that contains Subnautica and just do the same thing. But you can also simplify this by going to your Steam client, going to your library, right clicking on Subnautica or Below Zero, go to manage and go browse local files. And then it is going to open up a window to the same folder. So if you're playing the Epic version of the game, then you need to go to local disk C, program files and then epic games and then choose subnautica or subnautica below zero it should be right in there for that next you need to go to nexusmods.com sign up for an account and go to the subnautica page in fact if you want to do the shortest route there's a link in the description below to both subnautica and subnautica below zero versions of cube mod manager and in this case i am going to be demonstrating with subnautica so i go to that one and i choose to download cube mod manager which results in this compressed zip file now i'm not adding anything special for opening zip files because windows can handle that on its own but if you want to use something else like 7-zip go right ahead now what i'm going to do is simply double click on cube mod manager and it opens it up like a folder and this is where all you're going to do is take all of the items here and drag them into your Subnautica folder. So the critical component here is Bepinus. This is the modding framework for Unity-based games. QMods is technically a plugin or mod itself for Bepinus. Now, under the folders, we have a QMods folder. This is where we're going to actually install our mod files. Now you can install whatever mod you want at this point but one of the key ones you're going to need is the sml helper mod because this is going to serve as an assistant with a lot of mods already out there so in the description below i'm also going to have the links for the subnautica and subnautica below zero versions of this and again i'm demonstrating with subnautica so i'm going to download the subnautica version at the same time you're going to see i have sml helper show up here i'm going to simply open it up which again, you could do within Windows or whatever zip compression program you're using. And I'm just going to then drag it over and copy it into the QMods folder. That is it. So one of the easiest things to do is to actually just go here and shortcut the folder, or you can do like I've done. And I actually have shortcutted the common folder because that's where all the Steam games are going to be. So if I ever need to go to Subnautica or Subnautica Blow Zero, it brings me here and I just double click on the game. And so here we go. Ignore the choppy frame rate. This is a virtual machine and it has no graphics card assigned to it. But there you go. I have installed QMods and the SML helper. And at this point, it's just simply start adding other mods the same way by dragging them into the QMods folder like I just showed you there. 
So if you are having any problems with QMods not working once you've done these steps to install it, uh, or you're just having problems with certain mods, then really the best way to get help is to go and join the Subnautica modding Discord server and post your questions there. Of course, be polite, be courteous, and be respectful of the players who are offering you support on that. But if you did this through the Nexus Mods Manager and you're having problems, again, you need to put in a, a support request with Nexus Mods because it's probably something to do with their app, really. And so there you go. That's how simple it is to install Subnautica or Subnautica Blow Zero or even Subnautica 3 QMod Manager and start using mods. Again, it is based around the Bepinex modding framework and technically QMod Manager is own mod for that and then just is like you build mods into that. Uh, it's, it's like a wrapper around a wrapper. But of course, if you go out there and you do find an updated version of QMod Manager that is an installation executable, then you can run it and just follow the prompts and it'll handle all this for you. But again, if you're doing this from Nexus Mods or any site that just has the manual installation folder, it's as simple as drag and drop.